Do you want design inspiration from the world's most famous interior designers? You'll learn so much about how to decorate your own home by studying the brilliance of these famous interior designers. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jill Wadick, interior designer and artist. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you can get interior design inspiration and ideas so that you can create the home that you love. At any time during this video, check out the description for links to resources that I may mention in this video. Famous interior designers are really no different than any other creative genius in the world. They know how to make rooms an artistic experience. Okay, are you ready to look at some awesome designers? These are world famous designers that I really, really love and I think you will too. So Kelly Hoppen is one of my most favorite designers in the whole entire world. This is a residence she created and look at the elements in this space. So you have the three coffee tables, the three lights above it at different heights, adding interest. You have beautiful color insert in the room, adding that spark of color, but it's not overwhelming. You know, most people, they would design a space, they might do a couple of sofas facing each other in this room, they might do a long rectangular coffee table, you know, they might throw a great big chandelier above it, and they might do some long curtains and they're good. Okay, yeah, that can work, but look at how much more exciting this space is. Right, you have those unexpected three coffee tables in that textural element with these three lights above with this long expansive wall of it looks like some cut stone in that wall and then the grays on the curtains really ground the sofa into the space because you have dark right behind the sofa so you can learn how to add these elements into your own decorating into your own home just by studying world famous designers and using some of their skills and practices so here again, beautiful big chandelier above the round table. Round tables generally work so much better in spaces than rectangular or square because they're just more soothing. Uh, you can see the dark floor with the lovely white uh, chairs. All right, so this room is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it just awesome? It's soothing. Even the bed linens puddle on the floor just slightly. So do the curtains. So you have this feeling of luxury, like there's more than enough. There's even enough bedding and there's even enough curtains to, you know, puddle on the floor. That's how much there is of enoughness in this space. You know, the color is all generally the same, creating this expansive feeling. And then you've got some contrast and some hits of, of uh, unexpectedness with the white stool on the dark floor, the white sink with the dark stone or wood underneath it. And then the lighting is sculptural. It's ambient, ambiance. So look at this space. Now this is what you can do with a pre-planned space. So if you're building a home, why not have your contractor create basically cutouts in the walls such as this? You know, figure out your electric electricity to create some lighting in the insert flanking either side of the bed. How gorgeous is that? And it just takes a little bit of pre-planning and pre-thinking about what you want to do. There's even Kleenex in this room. Look at Kleenex down there on the left hand side in that insert, but it's all white, so you hardly see it. There's some candles, there's some scents there, but it all works so beautifully. This bed looks like it's inserted into the wall as well, so that was pre-planned, creating this lovely, lovely space. So this is just a masterful mix that Kelly Hoppen has created here because there is lots of negative space in the room with the whites, the long clean lines of whites, the long lines of dark, stark woods. The furniture has very little pattern on it except for a few stripes in the pillows. And, and so it's very intentionally clean lined 
with a limited palette with the pops and hits of that green in the walls. And so when you are designing really great design, you know, the reason these people are the top designers in the world is that they have got it figured out as far as, you know, where do we add interest and where do we keep it clean with really not much going on because that gives the eye a place to rest and yet it's still interesting and exciting with a little hits of, uh, you know, funky accessorizing going on. So this is the world's most famous, sexy, world's most sexiest staircase, don't you think? I mean, that is gorgeous, gorgeous. So if you've got a great contractor, you can create, recreate this in your own home. If you have a normal staircase, then think about the lines on the staircase. Do you need to do white underneath and solid black on the stair railing, for example? You could potentially create the same look in your own home in that sense. Another top designer is Kelly Wurstler. She's in the West Coast in LA. Wow, this woman is absolutely amazing. Her work is so cool. Here you have the sculptural chairs and look how she uses color with the artwork, the sofa, but then she's got, you know, the whites, the greens on the walls that looks like stone with some greens in it. And so she does this chunkiness, if that makes sense. The coffee table is chunks of solid nature right there. So you got nature which there is no better master than Mother Nature as far as artistic creation. And so it's like Mother Nature is, is spotlighted in this space. Look how Kelly uses golds, sculptural elements in her work. Look at the sculptural pieces she adds. Often you will see you know, the little feet and this, the human figures in the space almost coming right out of the coffee table itself or right out of the, the, um, the furniture itself. This would be like living inside a, almost a cave with light coming through with the elegance of metal and shine and glass. And look how Kelly masterfully uses uh, pattern. So here you have smaller pattern on the floor, big, bold, gorgeous pattern on the walls. You could do this with wallpaper or just um, have an artist paint it or you paint it yourself. And then Kelly uses these hits of big pieces of gold. I can imagine sleeping in this space and, and just looking around and and feeling that luxury of gold, but it's it, it's intentional. There's not a whole lot of little gold knickknacks around the room, right? It, no, it's very intentional. You've got gold on the lamps, in one accessory, and on two nightstands, done. That's it, the rest of it is white and black. See how that works? Here again, awesome blues. Look at the blues and grays. She's a master at using lines and pattern together. So you've got, you know, this, the lines in the bed going horizontal, the vertical lines going both horizontal and vertical on the walls in the stone or the wallpaper there. The lines on the sofa are intentional, modern lines there. The lamps have square and rectangular lines. So this whole room is a mixture of lines and pattern. And that's why it works so well. Even the desk on the right, where that chair is, has intentional horizontal lines, one on top of the other. See how that works? So, so, so fun, so stunning. Another one of my favorite designers is John Lay Dunior. And you can see in this space, this is a residence. Look how he uses pattern in the space. 
That would be like living in a jewel box inside your powder room. Again, you've got sculptural furniture. Now this may be harder to find where you live, but you can still find it. There are modern pieces out there that are very comfortable and really, really beautiful to look at. You could recreate this look in your home. You know, you might be thinking, oh, this is a famous designer. I could never afford them. They can't do my house. Therefore, I've got to, you know, be okay with substandard life. No, not the case. You could recreate this in your home. You may not be able to afford the exact materials, but uh, let's say this is white marble. Well, look at white quartz. You could probably afford white quartz, for example, right? Or a hard surface that was not marble. All right, you could probably afford a mirror like this that have, was sculpture and, sculptural in nature. And yeah, maybe it's not quite as cool as that mirror or quite as high end, but you could find a funky, cool mirror that would work in your own home that you could afford. So do not let, you know, your ideas about the world end up in your house as far as lack or, you know, that you think you can't do it. Cause you could recreate this look in your own home with the right information, with the right understanding of how to really create art in a room. Being really great at design is like being a master artist. You know, there's, Maybe there's, you know, a handful of truly masterful artists in the world. Well, there's a handful of truly masterful interior designers in the world, but we can all learn from them. All right, so look at this room. He has used horizontal lines on the wallpaper, and then he's mixed pattern in there with the rug that has some splatters of pattern, right? So it's not the same pattern, but it still has some lines going through it. And those, those scale of patterns work together. So don't be afraid of mixing pattern in a space. You can mix pattern. It usually works fantastically if you know what you're doing. Here, beautiful mix of negative spaces and lines. Again, these designers are all masters at creating lines of spaces. This kitchen, is that not the most beautiful kitchen you've ever seen? I'm in love with this kitchen. I want to cook in that kitchen. I want to make an awesome meal in that kitchen. You know, you've got this beautiful modern light up above. You've got the expanse of cupboards that have shine, but there's not a lot of interruption to the eye with all these funky doorknobs and stuff. You know, the only knobs in this space are on the lower cabinets and they blend right in because they're, they're, it's intentional. It's the blending that works. Here, he's done white marble all the way up the walls on the floor and then some intentional lines with a mix of modern art and traditional art, modern sculpture, just stunning. So pretty. Another one of my favorite designers ever in the universe is David Collins. David Collins does really high-end luxury residentials and, and uh, hotels and commercial spaces as I think just about all of these top designers do. But look how he mixes color together. So you've got dark blues, light blues, some yellow, Here's some mix of graphics on the floor, graphics on the walls. You've got the lavender with the marble together. You've got some blues, modern sculpture. Here is a lovely image of just clean, long, clean, expansive lines. Isn't that gorgeous? With the pops of lavender on the seats. Here again, lots of grays. The main palette is gray with some pops of color. I love this room. I could totally hang out in this bedroom. So the velvet green sofa is the main color. And then you've got the white marbles, the golds, the blacks, the whites. Lovely furniture wrapping around that bathtub. So you really can create beauty in your home 
you know, especially by studying these famous designers and just getting a feel for how they do what they do. You know, because it is, it is mastering the art of interior design. I mean, that, that is what they have truly done. Okay, let's take a look at Marcel Wanders. Marcel Wanders. He does the most fun work ever. So I just want to show you this. This is a residence that he has done. Look at this bedroom. You've got this upholstered wall behind the bed with some lighting. And then check out that pattern in the bathroom area. He's brought pattern on the floor all the way up the wall. Do not be afraid of wallpaper. Wallpaper is hot these days. There are so many beautiful, beautiful wallpaper patterns out there. You could just do one wall of wallpaper in your bedroom or one wall of wallpaper in your bathroom, bathroom to create that hit of pop and color and beauty and style. Whites with a smaller yellow pattern. He's bold. He does bold rooms. You, it, it almost looks like you could dive into that space. It almost looks like a dream, doesn't it? It looks like a dream. And, and he's just helping us see what's possible. He's helping us see that, you know, great design, it doesn't all have to be the same, right? It just doesn't. Here you've got this beautiful gold yellow with some black. And then really the rest of the space is white. And that's part of why that huge expansive color works so well. So maybe you can do a bedroom with one wall of awesomeness with color or, you know, a great big upholstered wall of color and the rest of your room is white. You see how you could do that. Yeah, I love his work. Um, look at the right and look at that sculptural piece just hanging out saying, hey, look at me, I'm so cute. It's fun. Part of the reason his work is so interesting is that he uses a lot of negative space. You don't see any clunky little coffee tables that you want to trip over. You don't see, you know, electrical cords for the lighting. You don't, there's so much that you don't see that it's just expansive and nothingness. And that creates a lot of peace in your mind. The world has enough stress in it, so let's de-stress our homes and get rid of some stuff and make it more clean lined. If you can think of negative space in a room as, you know, classical music and music would not be the same if it didn't have some empty spaces in it, if there was no sound between the notes. When you have no sound between the notes, it makes the notes that much more interesting. It's the same thing with design. When there's nothing in an area and then there's something in an area, it's almost like music playing. Here, Marcel has done this, you know, huge red sofa in this expansiveness of white. So it pops and it's interesting and it's fun. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And I love this sort of mushroom light. I'm guessing that's a, an ambient light there that looks like a mushroom next to the sofa. So how can you make your spaces at home more fun? How can you bring in some of these design elements into your house? So there you have it. You've discovered some of the most famous interior designers on the planet. They are each so incredible in their creative genius, and I have a design crush on each and every one of them. I hope this video has inspired you to make your home your own and to use tips and tricks from these top creative geniuses, these world famous interior designers. And you know, you really can use these design skills that you've learned in this video to create the home of your dreams. If you liked this video, make sure and subscribe to my channel. If you want to discover how to easily decorate your rooms, grab my free ebook in the description box below. It's called Decorating Secrets, How to Style Your Home Like a Pro, and I created it just for you. 
If you want to get customized e-design services, all done through video, Skype, and email from the convenience of your home, check out my services at homestylist.com. This saves you time, money, and stress, and it helps you really create the home of your dreams. Thanks for watching.